All right, there's Matthew. We're starting our Allagash adventure. We just got dropped off. Here Lake Amasaskis. Here's our uh, our canoes loaded down. What we got is Lake Amasaskis up here to the right, and then to the left, down under that bridge is Long Lake. We're gonna head down Long Lake. We are pulling out. We're heading down that way, to Long Lake. Matt coming through the bridge. There's Long Lake ahead of us. Winds are starting to pick up in our face, so we gotta get headed down there. All right, so we're uh, we're at our lunch break site now. This is uh, Lost Popple at the northern end of um, Long, uh, Long Lake, which uh, is not ironically named, it's very aptly named because it was a very long lake. Um, so we started out, <coughs> we got on the, on the waterway 9.30, it was nice and calm. The winds were, into, were uh, forecast to go um, 10 to 15 right in our face, gust to 25. Started out one there and we were like, hey, this is great. You know, it didn't really develop as forecast. But um, sure enough, pretty soon it was five and then it was 10 and uh, 10 to 15 right in our face. And then we, then we started getting those gusts to 25s pretty quick. And then it was sustained at 25. Uh, I made a poor tactical decision and when it went to the uh, over to it because the crossing was on the east side of the, the lake or the, the narrows where you go into the narrows so we, we crossed over but didn't happen we got caught with the wind so we ended up on the on the windward or on the leeward shore and that caused a lot of problems because it kept slamming us into the leeward uh, shore we couldn't make any headway at one point matt was out he's walking his canoe so um, as soon as we could we crossed back over to the windward side went through the narrows and now we're up into here but it took a long time and it was uh, pretty brutal uh, we took a little bit of water on, but we're all right. Um, other than that, this trip's going great. Uh, we just did a little, a little repackaging of the gear. Um, <clears throat> so Matt, I've, I've, been, I've been paddling from the front seat backwards just to kind of get my center of gravity in the middle of the boat or towards the middle. Matt's done that now, so he's he's looking good as well. And uh, so let me see, we'll just uh, turn this thing around. Um, I'll try to do that. Anyway. Um, I'll cut that here and then we'll actually so just there's Matt cooking at our stove. So this is, so this is lunchtime. Uh, it's about two o'clock. It's the first time we've had a chance to really stop for lunch because we were, I mean, just beating the, the waves all the way in. So uh, now it's time for some lunch. All right, talk to you later tonight. So this is, uh, they call it Long Lake Dam. There used to be a dam here. And uh, there's a couple different ways you can go down this thing. Uh, one guy we talked to today didn't get a shoot it, which is dumb. Uh, just what's in there, there's spikes. It's good, it's supposed to pick up the tear up uh, The other way is, you can see a cross here, you can portage around, put it on the side, where you can do it, we're going to do a line. So we're going to line the canoes uh, round and down through this thing, and then over into this cove, and then take off from there. Uh, that's the plan. All right. So we are going to line our canoe across Long Lake Dam. Bob's got the bow, I've got the stern. The idea is to keep the boat from tipping over, trying to control it. And hopefully that's what we do. And both of us stay out of the river. All right, I'm gonna pause and see how it goes. Never mind, we're going for it. A lot of water running through here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we made it. We're unscathed, canoes through, and that was a close call. So we're gonna do the other one without video. All right, so our first, uh, first campsite. It's uh, called Swanee Brook. 
So I'll just put in here. Uh, it's been a rough first day with the winds and the uh, seas and everything. But uh, first casualty is my canoe. Got a little hole in it. it happens. Got a repair kit. We'll be okay. Uh, we're gonna set up camp here and start cooking. All right. So the end of the evening. Beautiful out. We just had dinner. A little more than we expected, but we just had dinner. <laughs> Which is a long story, but uh, there's Matthew. We made steaks. We made steaks. <clears throat> so, first day, all right? Six o'clock in the morning. First morning on the Allagash. About 38 degrees out right now. But uh, there's no wind, so this, uh, this may be a better day than yesterday. <laughs> okay, day two. We're just leaving the campsite. Swanee Brook it was good to us. Matthew, Matthew back there, and then uh, so we are getting ready to go, heading that way. We're going to try to make Round Pond in time to hike to the tower and uh, camp somewhere. But so day two starting off a little cloudy, but no wind, so we're happy about that. Matthew, happy about that? Yes, very happy. Okay, so off we go. Had a good breakfast this morning. Couldn't use a reflector oven because the wood... It's been raining in Maine for several weeks, so the, the wood's all wet or green. So we had no luck uh, generating heat from a fire. We generated smoke and we generated flame to some extent, but no heat. In any case, uh, day two, here we go. Okay, here we go, coming out of the river into Round Pond. It's gonna be a campsite there with a trail up to a tower we're gonna hit. I got rained on quite a bit between uh, the brook and here. So you can see it's raining a little bit, not too bad. But, uh, Matthew and I, we, our spirits are still high, and uh, we're up for this adventure. Okay, so we're getting ready to go down. It's round pond rat rips. Matt's going first, and I gotta get off this thing so I can navigate the canoe. Bye. Some geese floating down past us. We just pulled off uh, after the rips. We go at uh, Crock Brook. Got the uh, campsite here, and there's Matthew. We're gonna grab some lunch and keep going. All right, we stopped for the night here. We're at uh, Five Fingers Brook South is the name of the campsite. Walking up to the uh, outhouse, there's these huge moose prints. Um, here we go, there's some more. There's the, the privy right there. So uh, hopefully we get to see a moose. All right, this is uh, end of day two, and we're at the uh, Five Fingers Brook campsite, which- uh, okay, South. Five Fingers Brook South, there are three of them. Uh, we were going to stay on the uh, the west one, but uh, we were going pretty fast as we passed it and had a very rocky um, takeout point, so we didn't. That's where we came from up there. It's been a great day of paddling. How many miles did we do today? 16 and a half. So 16 and a half miles today, and we're off the water by 2.30. Um, if you can, I don't think you can see them or not. Let me just see here. There are these enormous moose tracks um, all over our campsite. Uh, so. Maybe we'll get visited by a moose. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, tonight, well, last night we didn't really need the tarp. It was really a nice night out. But tonight, uh, you can see we've set up a tarp here, which, you know, uh, in the planning book, it tells you, you know, get a, get a tarp. And we got a, probably the perfect size tarp, so that worked out really well. And you can't bring enough paracord and, and rope. So, and today, yesterday we had a hard time finding wood. At the uh, campground, at the campsites, it's been picked over pretty good. It's been raining here for a few months, so basically every time we saw some dead dry fall, dry fall along the way, we'd stop, cut it up, put it in the canoes. So we made our own lock there, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll have a good fire tonight, tomorrow morning. All right, there's Matt, Max, Chillax. Hammock works. Here at the campsite, <laughs> first time we've had a chance to try it. It does work. So uh, a little more mature campground here. Got the tent set up. I went fly fishing with Dad's fly rod on the Allagash. And I caught about as many fish as he did. So, uh, if anybody's wondering, the patch on my canoe held. So I didn't take on water today. One more reason to love duct tape. And I just reinforced the other side too. So here we are, end of day two. Here's the morning of day three. It's a beautiful morning. It's about, uh, about six o'clock. Had some rain last night, thunder and lightning, that was exciting. But today you can see it's a beautiful day. And uh, so we'll be pushing off here, I don't know, sometime around nine, we're not, uh, not too concerned about what time we get on the road. But uh, we got Matt getting breakfast going. We got biscuits in the reflector oven. 
we should make Michu Farm uh, early today and then uh, on to Allagash Falls. Once we get to Allagash Falls, we're going to portage around it and then uh, probably make camp for the fourth night. All right, starting out day three. Well, uh, we packed up a little early. We got on the river about 8.20, but uh, it was looking like it might rain and we didn't want to try to break camp in the rain, so off we went. Um, I got to get off because I got to make sure I don't hit that tree. Be back in a minute. Here we are. That's uh, Misho Farm. Down there, you can see Matt. So let's focus on Misho Farm. There's Misho Farm. We're going to check in there. The ranger station is let them know we're here. Then move on, go to the falls. So up ahead there is uh, our only portage around Allagash Falls. And you got to hit that one because uh, you don't go over Allagash Falls. It's a 40 foot drop, so you have to portage around it. And that's the point you got to get out. So uh, that's where we're headed. Kind of uh, this is the bottom of Allagash Falls. Matt and I can't find a trail to the top, but we're gonna still keep looking. All right, so Matt and I informally called the Butler Turnip Expedition to forge the trail in here the falls, and they are magnificent. This is uh, pretty much the descent in the portage. There's Matt. He's got a uh, Old Town Discovery, so that thing's heavy. Uh, yeah, he's coming down. The, this is the big descent here. That's a tough climb down. Well, this trail's not bad. It's pretty well marked and well maintained. But uh, it doesn't make it any easier. It is unfun. All right. Well done, my good. All right, here comes Bob, portaging his canoe down the hill around Allagash Falls. It's a third of a mile hike. This is our fourth trip, getting all our stuff around. Gets to be a long walk carrying a 70 pound canoe. Woo! Here That'll is. get your attention. See you on the other side. So there it is. There's the falls. Kind of see where we portaged out. That's the exit of the portage. There's the falls rushing down. It's been a great trip. Hey, it's the day. It's the end of day three. There's Matt over there in his hammock, which is incredibly comfortable. Uh, we got our, our campsite here. So today we did the, um, we did the, we canoed down out, out of, uh, down to the uh, Michaud farm. And then we canoed over to the um, Allagash Falls. So Allagash Falls, I'm trying to get good at our camp, but the sun's not cooperating. Allagash Falls is um, the big falls. You got a portage around it. So after Michaud farm, we paddled Allagash Falls. Um, hit the upper takeout. They have a lower takeout as well, but um, every book that you, that you deal with says don't take it, don't even try it. So what we ended up doing uh, was not trying it. So we took uh, we took out and at the upper portion of it. Hang on just a second while I change this. At the upper portion of it, and then um, here's our camp all set up. That's Matt's tent. Obviously, Matt and our clothes drying hang, hanging up there. But uh, so, we, so we took it out and we did the uh, the portage. It took us five trips each. Uh, it's, it's a third of a mile each way. Get all of our stuff portaged around the falls. 
Yeah, here we are, Big Brook North. So once we were portaged around the falls, we uh, we put in again. We were going to just go to the first campsite. Well, the first campsite was right there, and, and it, and it kind of sucked. So we let, so we kept going. Um, <clears throat> the second campsite we went whizzing past. It was too late when we saw it. We didn't like that one either anyway. So by the time we got, to, we said, hey, we don't want to go all the way. We could we could have been out today, but we didn't want to do that. We wanted to camp some more. So we ended up <clears throat> making this campsite right here. Uh, again, Big Brook North. And, uh, and it's great. A uh, little rocky on the beach, but there's some moose tracks down there. So tomorrow, the weather is supposed to be pretty bad. It's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow morning, and then clear up tomorrow afternoon. So our plan is to uh, get up in the morning, uh, check the weather, see how things are going, take our time. If it's raining, we'll just uh, hunker down here. Uh, and if it's not, then um, then we'll go and, and uh, we'll decide if we're gonna go down to the next campsite. In any case, we're probably not going to pull out to uh, out, out, get to the takeout point tomorrow. We're probably going to go just stay here and camp or camp at the next spot and then uh, take out on Saturday as planned. All right, well, that's all for now. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, uh, so we're going to start a fire without a, a lighter. This should scare the crap out of you because what I'm using is dryer lint. I'm telling you, stuff goes up so easy. There we go. It's on fire. What I've got here is some cotton balls that have been soaked in... Uh, Petroleum jelly, they also go up pretty easily. So once those start burning, I'll add some little sticks. Then some bigger sticks. And then some progressively bigger sticks. This is nice dry cedar, so it should go up really fast. And that's it. We started fire. All right, so this is uh, night three. We got into camp and it was good. It was a uh, beautiful day, just a gorgeous day. So we're, we're sitting here now. You can probably hear the thunder, but the rain's coming. It was supposed to rain tomorrow morning, uh, so we expected that. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll get out of its system tonight. And uh, we won't have to deal with it too much. We'll find out. Talk to you tomorrow. Well, a little storm turned out to be. A little lightning there. A little more of a while. Thunder. Lightning. Lightning. I'd say the low light level in the green is kind of good. Uh, beginning of day four. So last night, uh, last night we had uh, really heavy uh, thunder and lightning, rain showers, rain storms. It was uh, it was pounding at times. Then we get a break and you know it would be pounding again. It kind of uh, let me see if I can get down here on the landing a little bit. So I see up the uh, south, and then this is coming up north. This is heading downriver, which is actually south to north. So it's kind of upriver in the down direction. But uh, here's our campsite, our tent was, uh, or our tarp rather, our tarp was great. Um, that was a fantastic recommendation. So that was good. And then, um, let me see, what do we have? So like I said, it, uh, it had poured last night. And uh, what was key is, um, we were ready for it. We heard the thunder coming in. So uh, we got, uh, we, all, we had our tarp up already. We made camp uh, quite a bit earlier than the, than the storm started. But, um, so what we did was we got everything, uh, all the like, loose stuff that I normally leave in the can on the uh, picnic table, uh, I put in my tent so it stayed dry, nice and dry. Um, so when we heard the rumblings, we got everything kind of situated for the storm, which was, which was pretty key because it allowed us to sit back and, you know, enjoy the storm. And we just sat there and enjoyed the show and <clears throat> it was good. So here's our, here's our uh, campsite. And it's kind of getting, you can kind of see of getting the same way every day we've, we've kind of got into a routine you know there's the tool bag that green bag a camp stove reflector oven and uh kitchen box and our work yeah camp stove right there kitchen box then cooking on the fire there's matt cooking on the fire now bacon yeah bacon and uh, so we're getting ready for breakfast it's matt's birthday today happy 33rd birthday matt thank you on the allagash that's kind of a special moment i think uh the tents we brought are awesome these rei tents have, have stayed 
very dry and uh, no bugs are getting through. Although we haven't really had a big problem with bugs. I think we're hitting it at the perfect time of year. The temperatures are good. It's not really cold out. <clears throat> uh, it's cool. Uh, there's no bugs out yet. And the current and the, and the water flow is fantastic. So we're, we're really having a good, um, uh, a good, a good uh, trip down the river or up the river as it was. So this is the fourth day. Okay, so we decided to get on the river today. It's day four. Uh, we're getting on the river a little later than we normally do, but that's okay. We want to see the weather. Uh, we're just sort of breaking camp and clouded up again, so we may get rained on. We're putting up our rain gear. Uh, campsite was nice, so it was good last night. We're going to try and get some distance behind us, get to the next campsite and get set up before it rains. Uh, so we'll update you from there. All right. So we left day four, ended up, wasn't long, it was like an hour and a half. Wind was pretty bad, it was pouring rain, or it was raining pretty good, I won't say pouring, but uh, now it's, skies are cleared up real nice. Uh, this is it, we've, ended, we've actually exited the Allagash Wilderness Waterway. This is a site called East Twin Brook. Uh, it's just out after you exit the waterway. There's Matthew down there in our, at our landing site. So, there's my boat there. So we gotta climb boat, haul all of our stuff up here. But it looks like a nice site. Someone left us some firewood. So I'm uh, looking forward to camping tonight and uh, paddling out tomorrow. So the sky cleared up a little bit. Rain went away. Blue sky a little bit there. Sun's coming out. About five o'clock. Uh, Matt and I decided it's time for supper. Being Matt's birthday and his signature dish is jambalaya. We have jambalaya. He's uh, preparing right there. And I have started making some cornbread in the reflector oven, which uh, you can see right here. Got our fire going, and there's the cornbread in there. So uh, it should be a good dinner tonight. Looking forward to it. So day five, we uh, got up early. It's cold, cold this morning. Uh, my thermometer broke, so I have no idea how cold it was. It was supposed to be in the mid 30s. Uh, it was at least in the mid 30s, possibly uh, low 30s. <coughs> So we got up, um, made a good breakfast, bacon, eggs, biscuits, uh, broke camp, and um, got on the water about 8.40. Uh, sitting here now, it's, uh, what time is it? Uh, oh, we got in at 7.40, now it's 8.48. So we did about a, a three, three and a half, about four, 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 four and a half, four and a half, and uh, just, just about an hour. So, uh, so Matt and I, here we are. We did it. We're at the end now. Miles. How many? 52. 52 miles. Um, so we're here at, uh, let's see, is that White sign Birch there? Landing. White Birch Landing. Uh, where we, where we uh, parked my truck. And uh, so, very glad we did it. Um, it's a good adventure. So that's us, that's us finished.